Hi, today I'm going to help you how to memorize TNM staging of lung cancer. If you are a pulmonary fellow or an oncology fellow, um, you'll find it sometimes pretty confusing. I found it as well uh, pretty confusing and hard to memorize at the beginning, so I always have to use the table to memorize myself, um, to, to look it up myself. But um, after a while, I realized that there's an um, easy way to re remember it, okay? So today I'm going to show you my trick. Okay, let's get to it. So um, to memorize stages of um, uh, lung cancer, just have to memorize a few things. So first, uh, you have to know that um, stage three will always have T stages, T3 and T4, okay? And second rule, um, when you go up on the stages, uh, you always have to go up by T first and then you go up by the end stage second, okay? So um, I'm going to give you how um, show you how I do it. So T3A, okay? So remember, always started with T3 and 4 for stage 3, right? So T3 and 4 for 3A. And N, starting with N1 here, okay? T3, 4, and 2 for 3B, and T3 and 4, and 3 for 3C, okay? And then everything just flow from there. So um, starting with 3A, 3 and 4, okay? You cannot go up higher on T, so you have to go up higher on N, okay? So N1, you go up to N2, and this will be T1 and 2, okay? Uh, here, similar to 3B, um, you can because you cannot go up higher on T3 and 4, so you have to go up on N, right? So N3 here, and T1 and 2, okay? And um, to go up to stage 4, because you cannot go up higher, on you cannot go up higher on the uh, T so you have to go up on M right so um, this would be M1 A B single metastasis right and uh, M1 C or multiple metastasis okay right okay uh, and then um, let's go back here. So to go back to 2B, um, you go up on the T first, and then in the end, second, okay? So T4, you go back, will be T1, 2, right? And then this thing here will be the same, N1 here, okay? And then uh, because you cannot go back higher, um, right? T1, 2, you cannot go back higher. Um, so all you do is go back on N stage here. N0, and this would be T2B, okay? Remember, this kind of sound similar, 2B, 2A, okay? Uh, and then everything would be easier after. So N0, 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 and here you just have to just step up to T2B here, okay? So T1A, t 1B, T1C, D2A, right? That's easy, okay? Now um, you are wondering where the T3, 4, N0, okay? So memorize this. So 3 always go with T4, right? So that would go to 3A. That would be T4, N0 here. And then T3, N0 will fall into 2B, okay? Uh, similarly, there are ways to memorize T stages as well, okay? And that would be, so to memorize T staging, you have to know the size of the tumor and then the location of the tumor, okay? And whether it invades anything else around it, okay? And then um, there will be so many T staging here, okay? I'm going to write down for you. T1A, T1B, T1C, right? T2A, T2B, T3, and T4, okay? So how to memorize that? Too many, many things, right? Okay. I have trick as well. All right, so um, to memorize the size, all you have to memorize is T3 and number 7 here, okay? All right, so 7 and everything will flow from there. So seven, seven, right? 
and then T one A to T two B will be number one to five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and of course I don't um, draw it out here, but uh, I assume that you uh, would know, right? So T one C will be anything from two point zero one to three centimeter. Okay. And then second will be the location of the tumor. It could be a little complicated, but it's not that complicated, okay? And um, so to make it easy, uh, let's do it this way, okay? So anything that T2 will be, uh, will involve the lung, okay? Regardless of the size. Uh, I mean, will involve this part of the lung, for example, uh, except in the lung parenchyma, okay? So it would be um, bronchus, hilum, right? Visceral pleura, right? And anything that causes atelectasis or pneumonitis because of obstruction, right? Okay. So T2 would be anything just involved the lung here, okay? Um, for T3, it would be a little complicated, so I'm gonna use uh, imagination here to, have to help you guys memorize, okay? So T3 would be anything that includes these three reasons, okay? So three and three. All right, first, how does number three look like, okay? It's similar to be that, right? With just a little thing in here, all right? So be that similar to letter P. A letter P would have this structure, pericarditis, or phrenic nerve, right? Okay, and then um, the other thing would be uh, num two number three sitting together, right? would be similar to two dots sitting on each other, right? So it would be two nodules in the same lobe, right? Okay. Or just imagine number three sitting on a chest wall. So it would be anything that involved chest wall. Okay. So that would be stage T3, okay? For stage T4, um, it would be anything that's not T3, T2, and T1, okay? But to make it even easier, um, just imagine how people draw number four, right? So it would be like this. So anything that involves a midline and involves a diaphragm here. So midline would be mediastinum, right? That would be esophagus. And that would be trachea, that would be the heart, right? That would be um, anything that in the mediastinum, um, great vessels, and the spine as well, okay? And diaphragm. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your attention.